everybody, and welcome to Prayer Siege Season 7, Night 4. Is it Night 4? I've lost track. <laughs> it's Night 4. <laughs> Someone tell me, is it Night 4? Anyway, welcome everybody, wherever you're watching from. Johnny, John, Quara, I don't know if I pronounced that right, Pete, um, Mr. Oli, Charmaine. Yes, Charmaine says Night 4. And White, welcome guys. Thank you for joining us tonight. We have been praying in the spirit, pressing into the Lord at the start of the new year for seven consecutive nights at midnight UK time. If it's your first time tuning in, just comment. Let us know it's your first time. If I see your comment, I'll give you a shout out. And someone says they're watching from Botswana. I can't pronounce your name, but you're welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Someone's watching from Kenya. I don't know what time it is in Kenya or Botswana, but I can imagine it's a very different time to midnight here. <laughs> So you probably you you guys are probably ahead of us time wise. Anyway, bless you all for joining us. We've got an exciting team with us today in the studio. Some first time people joining us. Uh, we've got Elijah on drums over there, and I just found out he's from Congo. I thought he was Nigerian, but he's from Congo. <laughs> you know how it is. Nigerians are everywhere. You can't get away from them. So you know every other black person you meet is probably a Nigerian. So <laughs> I just assumed it was Nigerian, but he's from Congo. Anyway, he's playing drums today. We've got on drum, uh, on drums, on guitar. Uh, we've got Sonny. I said he was from South Korea, but he's not from South Korea. He's from Hong Kong. You know, Sonny's played you know for press some of the years. Over the years, I don't actually know how long. But anyway. I said to Sonny that when he gets famous, I can say, we knew you first, Sonny. We knew you first. When no one knew you. We... <laughs> he's an amazing, he's an amazing uh, electric guitar player. You know, we go to the same church. He goes to Ram Church. Anyway, and on bass, Alessio. It's Alessio, Alessio's first time, and he's Ghanaian. I didn't know that. Till he... I didn't know where he was from. I kind of, I knew he wasn't quite Nigerian because when you see some people, you can tell, oh, yeah, that's Nigerian. That's not Nigerian. Well, I didn't know, but today I found out he's from Ghana. Obviously, he's based out here in the UK. So, unless he was playing bass first time, nice to have you with us. And then on keys, we've got Peace. So, Peace is, is, uh, Peace is Nigerian, but he is in university at, where, where is he now? Stoke and Trent. So, he came all the way from Stoke and Trent to play for us tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Peace, for coming to be a part of this session. Also, in the corridor, we've got the amazing Edith. Edith has got Ghanaian heritage. Edith is good to have yourself. I said, hey, we've got some intercessors in the back. We've got Martin. We've got the Debbie. I can't see someone else back there, but I know we've got some people back there. So it's great to be able to join in together to pray tonight from different nations in this room and different nations right there online. So God bless you guys. Oh, Judith Bloomfield. Yay. Good to see you, Judith. Uh, so tonight we're going to be praying in tongues. And listen... Some people feel intimidated by the whole idea of praying in tongues. I'm like, listen, don't be intimidated. If you're watching and you don't pray in tongues yet, don't feel like a second-class citizen. Just desire the gift and ask the Holy Spirit to baptize you. Mm. It says in the book of Acts, this gift, this is what Peter said on the day of Pentecost. This gift, referring to the baptism of the Holy Spirit that they were all saying, it said, this gift is for you and for all who are far off. And then this is the bit that includes all of us. It says, for as many as the Lord will call. That includes you and me. So on that day of Pentecost, he was saying, this gift of the Holy Spirit is for as many as the Lord will call now and in the future. So God wants to baptize all of us with his spirit and with the grace, the ability to pray in tongues. And what that does is it helps you to just push in deeper into God. You know, it's like a, it's like a Holy Spirit engine within you that just helps you to pray, literally. Because there are times where you're going to pray and you're going to run out of words to speak, but the Spirit praying through you enables you to just go to places you can't go with your natural mind. And I found it so easy to pray for hours because of the grace to pray in tongues. And so I want to encourage you to go after that and ask the Lord to baptize you with that if you haven't yet got to a place where you started praying in tongues. And he will do if you keep pressing in and asking. Don't give up because it doesn't happen the first time. Keep asking. In fact, it says, ask and keep on asking and you shall receive. Mm -hmm. So there's something about that consistency I want to encourage you to connect with. Now, some of you already pray in tongues, but you don't really do it for long. I'm telling you, you're missing out some, on some incredible things 
in your walk with God. I don't believe that as believers, as Christians, we can be effective in our walk with God without investing quality time in seeking Him. So now, as we pray in tongues, think of it as going to the prayer gym. You know, people go to the gym and build muscle. When you pray in the Spirit and when you press into God, you're building your spiritual muscle. This is what the Bible says about John the Baptist in Luke 180. John was in the desert and grew strong in spirit until the day of his manifestation to Israel. So John was in a difficult environment in the desert, and the Bible says he wasn't growing physical muscle in the desert. He grew strong in spirit. Mm. You don't grow strong by accident. I hope you realize that you grow strong on purpose, especially the kind of strength we're talking about here. You grow strong on purpose. You build that stamina consistently. And one of the ways you do that is by engaging in this activity, which we're about to get into right now, praying in the spirit. And so we're going to be doing this for about an hour or so. And as we pray in tongues, we've got some music here just to help. And what that does is, I love music, and it was one of the ways we can engage with things of the spirit. Anointed music helps us to just connect with the Holy Spirit easier. You can pray in tongues without music, obviously, but we love to pray in tongues with music. Now, sometimes, and oftentimes, actually, I play these prayer sessions back, and you can use this on your own at home after this live session. Some of you watch it after we're live anyway, and just play in the background and pray along. It's a good thing to do. It's a good habit. Build your spiritual stamina. If you're not used to praying for long, this is a good way to stretch yourself. We have many people contact us saying things like, I've never prayed for an hour in my whole life. <laughs> in fact, someone contacted me saying something like, I never prayed for an hour. And then they came across these videos and they ended up praying for like five hours, six hours, seven hours, just by praying along. Wow. And they were so amazed by the stamina that was built in them. I'm telling you, it will revolutionize your life. I know for a fact, I'm not doing what I'm doing right now just because, you know, I just woke up one morning and said, okay, Lord, I want to do some prayer thing. No, I had to build stamina myself and I'm still building stamina. It doesn't matter how much you know how to pray or grow in prayer, there's still room to grow. So God is still building us because no one knows it all. In fact, the Bible says in Romans, I believe Romans 8, that we don't even know how we should pray. So it's the Holy Spirit that helps us to pray. And so there's that place of coming in humility before God and simplicity and knowing that we don't know it all. He's the one that enables us. Even, even if you've been a Christian for 50 years, 60 years, there's that sense of we have to come dependent on the Spirit. He helps us to pray. And so tonight he's going to do exactly that because we come in humility and asking him for grace. So as we go into prayer, I want you to right now begin to ask the Lord to enable you to pray. Say, Lord, teach me, teach me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me to engage with your heart today. Maybe you've had a busy day. Maybe you're downcast. Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe you feel like a failure. Maybe you feel condemnation. Listen, the best thing to do with all those emotions is to run to God right now. So we come before the throne of grace and we're going to obtain mercy. We're going to obtain grace in a time of need. Grace to pray. Grace to be holy. Grace to seek His face. That's all we need right now. So engage your hearts with Him. In your natural understanding, just begin to align yourself by saying, Holy Spirit, I want you. Holy Spirit, I turn my heart. I tune my heart towards you right now. Reign in me. Have your way. I let go of everything that may have got in the way of my life in prayer. Tonight, I want to build stamina in you. Tonight, I want to grow a bit stronger in the Spirit. I want you to pray through me, Holy Ghost. I submit my vocal cords to you. I declare that I will not be silent in a moment where sounds should come out of me. I break off of my vocal cords every spirit of timidity, every spirit of silence. I declare that my voice will be released tonight. I declare that every obstruction, limitation, everything around my mind or emotions that's seeking to push me down and shut me up, I break it off right now in the name of Jesus. Speak to yourself. Say, Lord, I arise and I shine in prayer. I arise and I shine in the Spirit because my light has come and the glory of the Lord is rising over me tonight. I arise in the Spirit. Every yoke of oppression breaks up right now. Every spirit of condemnation leaves right now. I arise in purity. I arise in focus. I declare that the Lord is with me and is for me. I run 
to heal Jesus tonight with everything in me. There is no other way. There is no other way. There's no one else to run to, Lord.
in the spirit tonight as we mount up with wings like eagles we say let doors begin to open in the spirit let revelations begin to be released let secrets begin to be released as we search out the deep things of God as we press in the spirit through prayer right now we say father let our eyes begin to be open let our ears begin to be open let us begin to see what we've never seen before hear what we've never heard before arrival the mysteries of the kingdom arrival the mysteries of heaven begin to reveal even the works of darkness begin to reveal the secrets of the enemy begin to unravel every hidden plots of darkness we thank you for revelation revelation knowledge revelation knowledge light revelation knowledge flood our minds of light as we press in the spirit right now we say let our eyes begin to see our eyes begin to see hallelujah
show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Your word says as we call unto you, our eyes will be opened and you will answer us and show us. So Father, we thank you for sight. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for revelation. We thank you for precision. We thank you for ascension, acceleration in the spirit. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Ghost. As we press into you, rivers are flowing from within us, out of us. Mysteries are being unraveled before us. Revelations being released. Bondage broken. Advancing in the spirit. Hallelujah. We thank you for new momentum. Strength being built in the Holy Ghost. We build ourselves in the Holy Ghost. Even as we pray, strength is arising. Sight is becoming precise. Cloudy vision is being unraveled. Deception is being lifted. Deception is being broken. Hallelujah.
discernment, the spirit of discernment. Our light has come and the glory arise upon us. Revelation and wisdom. I am the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Our light has come. up in a prison and as we're praying the chains and the things holding that prison just broke open and I believe there's someone watching your destiny feels like your life has not been moving forward it feels like you've just been constantly restricted everything you try to do it feels like there's just resistance and you seem like you're not making any progress I feel like as we're praying the prison doors the shackles just broke open and it's like God is going to start to open things up in your calling. You're going to find that the same kinds of effort you have been putting in the past, you won't even do half the same effort and things will begin to move with speed. There's someone else you're called into ministry and it's like God is going to begin to just align you with the right relationships that opens the right doors to train you in the area he's called you to grow in. Because you know when you're called, you have to come under the, he's like you go into the school of the Holy Spirit, but he also starts to place people in your path that help you in his training of you into that calling. And there's someone who's called to serve the Lord in ministry and the Lord is going to align you. It's like He says to you, don't try to work it out in your flesh. It's not you trying to push these buttons and trying to connect to this person over here and trying to call this person. He said He's going to position you. He's going to, he's going to, you're going to know that God is the one that brings people into your life. He's going to divinely connect you. It's like, I see like a chess board. He's moving pieces on the chess board. He's going to position things around you. It's going to be so clear. The Lord is ordering your steps. There's someone else, addictions. You've been struggling 
struggling with addictions. I believe it's masturbation specifically. You've been struggling. As we're praying, it's like the Lord is just delivering you from that demon, that demonic influence that has been paralyzing your will because you've become a slave to sin. And as we've been praying, the prison is being broken open. It's like your, your will that has been paralyzed by sin is being released and the Lord is setting you free right now from addiction in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Edith, I don't know if you have anything you want to release. Pray. Yeah, I just really felt it was a time of strong deliverance. Um, and without kind of copying what you've just said, James, the only words I was hearing was prison doors wow. have opened. Wow. Wow. Prison doors have opened. And stubborn shackles, so shackles that have been so stubborn, um, have just been broken off. Um, and prisoners have been set free. And that was what I kept hearing, prisoners set free. Hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. Well, Lord, we praise you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Listen, these words we're releasing, <clears throat> excuse me, if they're bearing witness with you and you're like, that's me, let us know. It's always encouraging letting us know that the words that have been released are connecting to a specific situation. In fact, if you don't want to type online, you can email us privately. We always love to hear from you guys. Listen, it's been such a powerful time of prayer tonight. <clears throat> I saw someone posted and said, please, can we have the music? <laughs> we will definitely, by God's grace, have the music for this. I need to clear my throat. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I've been shouting so much. I'm making sure my voice is okay. Right. So, listen, this has been such an amazing, amazing session. This is only night four. Night five is coming up tomorrow. Listen, let us thank our amazing musicians who have been helping us out. You know, I told you, Sonny, it was amazing on the guitar. I saw someone comment and it was like, uh, I can't remember what it said, music is on fire or, you know, amazing guitar or something. You know, so, um, Sonny, thank you for playing. In fact, everyone, just amazing to have you all. Uh, Edith, great to have you with us. Just so, 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 so good. Uh, all the intercessors in the background. I mean, I don't know if you guys are feeling the fire tonight. It was, <laughs> it was intense. It was so good, so good. Listen, we're going to love you and leave you. If the ministry of Prayer Storm has been a blessing to you, why not consider supporting Prayer Storm? You can do that by just liking this video. Just hit like if you're on YouTube, like the video. You can share it. That's a simple way to support. Or you can give financially. Head over to our website, prayerstorm.org. Uh, very easy to give. You know, the details are on the screen. If you're in the UK and you want to give into our bank account, it's right there. You can support the work of Prayer Storm. Every penny that goes into this ministry goes towards advancing the kingdom. We're accountable. We're a charity. We have structures and systems in place. And so we have incredible people who help us with stewarding things here. It's, I mean, we have a great team. So you can be assured that things have been stewarded right in this place. Our heart is to see a prayer, prayer revolution. So everything we do is gearing in that direction, really. Um, next week, Tuesday... And for three consecutive Tuesdays, I'll be hosting a teaching session in this room live online. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Someone just did a super chat on YouTube. Thank you for that. Um, I'll be hosting a live session in this room, a teaching session, a teaching series for three weeks on prayer, equipping you in prayer. And so wherever you are, I want to encourage you to join us. It's going to be 7 p.m. UK time. So you can work it out wherever country you're in, or you can watch it back later. Three consecutive Tuesdays we'll be hosting teaching sessions in this room on prayer to prayer school live on YouTube so join us for that also we've got all night prayer meeting happening on the 20th of this month Friday night and so we're going to be partnering with a local church here in Manchester Ramp Church uh, Ramp has been a big part of my life there's Ramp US there's also Ramp Manchester so Ramp has a local church here and uh, we're going to partner with them so it's going to be a live in-person meeting and so if you want to come to that you can register on our website uh we need to know the people coming because we we have limited space and we want to steward at the space right <laughs> so let us know if you want to come to that if you're in the area all night prayer meeting on friday the 20th of this month i'm going to stop there for now but i want to say thank you so much for joining us um Someone is asking a question. Oh, sorry. That's a question Karen is asking. I don't need to answer that. Anyway, God bless you all. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to love you and leave you. Tomorrow, same time, we're going to be here for Prayer Siege Night 5. We're pressing for seven consecutive nights. And so I hope to see you then. God bless you. Good night.
Thank mm-hmm. you.